Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. So my people, the UK government is just coming for Nigerian politicians one after the others. It's just as if maybe they are setting trap for them and they are walking into the trap one after the other. Just while we are still talking the we are still talking about the case of Ike Puremado, the UK government has charged Diezani with bribery. <laughs> Anyways, before we get into this news in full details, I want to please beg you all to help me by liking this video and also sharing with others so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. The news here reads, the UK government charges Diezani with bribery. Hope you all know uh, Diezani, the former petroleum minister, the controversial one. Yes, that is her. Former Petroleum Minister Diezani Alison Madike has been charged with bribery in the United Kingdom. According to Reuters, British police said they had charged her with bribery offences, saying they suspected she had accepted bribes in return for awarding multi-million pounds oil and gas contract <laughs> just imagine now you cannot come the help nigerian government they do their job okay alison madeke 63 was a key figure in the administration of former president Gulog jonathan she served as petroleum minister from 2010 to 2015 and also acted as president of the organization of the petroleum exporting countries opec we suspected diezani alison madeke abused the power in Nigeria and accepted financial rewards for awarding multi million pounds contract, said Andy Kelly, head of the National Crime Agency International Corruption Unit. Hmm. These charges are a milestone in what has been a thorough and complex international investigation. Okay, the NCA said Alison Madweke was accused of benefiting from at least hundred thousand pounds in cash, chauffeur driving cars, flight on private jets, luxury holidays for her families, and use of multiple London properties. All right. Charges against her also detailed financial rewards, including furniture, renovation work, and staff for the properties, payment of private school fees, and gift from high-end designer shops, such as Katia Jewelry and Louis Vuitton Goose, the NCA said. Since she left office, she has been dogged by corruption allegations but denied the charges. British police said she was currently living in St. John's Wood, an upmarket area of West London. She was first arrested in 2015 but underwent chemotherapy for breast cancer, according to her family. At the time of her arrest, the NCS said it had detained five people in London on suspicion of international corruption without naming them. The NCA said that her asset worth millions of pounds in relation to the case have been frozen as part of the investigation. In March, the agency, which targeted international and organized crime, provided evidence to the U.S. Department of Justice, allowing them to recover assets totaling $51.1 million linked to Alison Madweke. Diaziani is expected to appear at Westminster magistrate court on October 2nd. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, had many times moved to extradita, but its request was blocked. <laughs> They'll commit all this crime, then run to the safe heaven, debut with our money. And I said it some time ago, that very soon, this safe heaven they are running to will no longer be safe for them. Today, after, waiting they happen. No worry. Now, just one after the other, one go, they meet all of them. She be even the yes and I say, get like five people where they even hold, where we no even know their name because they never disclose their name. Just very soon. Let me take, some Nigerians are reacting. Someone here says, Diaziani finally charged for what most people thought was which haunts. If this article is saying anything to go by, then there is no escape for her, nor her partner, considering the milestone evidence that 
the NCA must have gathered against her. I tell you, you see, these people, okay, let me finish this comment. The only problem is that after collecting all her loot and giving back to the Nigerian government, it will still be looted by the Nigerian government officials who collect such money. It is just a vicious circle. All right. I tell you guys that you see all this international community here. Eh? If all these people they do, not be say they know they see you, but sometimes say eh, they just they look them with one eye. Because why? We keep deceiving ourselves in this country that we are sovereign nation, we can solve our problem, we can do this, we can do that, we can do. Not be the problem where we know feel solve. Not being that they help us, they solve for them now. And someone here says, can we see those who are serious about investigating corruption? Exactly. Not be waiting Nigerian government, they do. You see, can we see those who are serious about investigating corruption and prosecuting those involved? No noise making, no media trial. By the time they are in court, they don't need to be looking for fact and evidence, no technicality to create loopholes. These people, they settle down, they take their time. And by the time they are in court, if they tell you it is A, just know, just zero your mind that this A is just A. This is a country that is serious about fighting corruption. Not what Nigeria is doing. They tell us they are fighting corruption, but in reality, it is the corruption that is fighting them because no one, no person where no corrupts, they fight corruption. How can you be corrupt? I've been fighting corruption. You know, go work now. You know, if you work, is there any public or government official? In Nigeria today, that is not corrupt. All of them, they don't swear their hand in one place or the other. And that is why you see them, they are not effective in fighting any corruption. They can never, they can never effectively fight any corruption. If you see you say, if you see them say that they prosecute anybody because of corruption, just no say na na for personal interest, not because they not be because they, they won't really fight any corruption for that country. Someone here says, former accountant general of the federation, the Nottana man, stole 150 billion naira which is up to 200 million dollars till today no news about him nigeria is this right former efcc boss mugu stole 37 billion till today the case is dead not an as block abakiari former police officer not to be extradited to us none of abakiari has was seized his brother has been released they found about 859 million in his brother's account why the guy is jobless and the money was not seized we have planted evil in the name of tribalism and religion nigeria is going down day by day let all of them that stole money be persecuted if you are from west or south or north or east send them to jail seize all their properties but it is very bad that they only do these things to the people from the south and southwest and southeast People just the jackpot to another country. It is good that citizens are not running away from their own country. All right, my people, and that is it for you all. This is the news. Uh, Alison, uh, Dieziane Alison Madueke has been charged with bribery in the United Kingdom. And this is someone that has case here in Nigeria. And they've tried everything possible to bring this woman down here and the uk government they were blocking it right now we now know the reason why it's because they have they were taking their own time to do their own investigation they know that these people now they say they know get sense they know say if they carry if they allow them if they if they allow them carry her come back to nigeria nigeria is so fucking corrupt definitely they will do the mago mago do and their own way so they want they just want to take their time to do it the way they like that's the reason why they have been blocking the extradition Look at it now. She will be appearing in court uh, on the 2nd of uh, October. Whatever happened, we all, we are here. I will definitely keep you guys updated. And with all of that being said, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.